has the whole world gone mad? You know, in uh, 2014, 800,000 people took their own lives. 80% of those people were men. What's going on? Well, there's obviously a big issue going on, and I think it's not just a male issue, it's an issue that so many of us have, and it's fear. Fear to speak up. Fear to say how you feel. It's estimated that 70% of people live in a state of some sort of stress, perpetual stress, fear, worry, doubt, anxiety. And when we do that, we become good at it. But one of the things that I've learned over the last few years is that we have a body and we have a mind. And when we're really young, our mind is the master. Our bodies are the servants. Think about it. So when you learned to walk, your body didn't have a clue what it was doing. Your mind was in charge. But as we've gotten older, our bodies have become our unconscious mind. Our body doesn't have to think. So every time we get stressed or worried or sad or anxious, when we get good at it, our bodies think that that's how we're supposed to behave. And what we're gonna see more of in the future is people learning how to change their unconscious mind, which is their body. No one wants to feel stress all the time, but I think we've become addicted to stress, worry and anxiety and sadness and depression. Our bodies think that's what we're supposed to do. And as you can see here in the heart of London, I wonder how many people there are here right now that are struggling inside, even though they don't need to. And someone asked me before, why do I do what I do? Because I, I love to help people get out of their own way and feel how they want to feel. So we don't live our life based in fear. We live our life based on being inspired and being joyful about the life that we want to create. It's our life. And as they say, we only get one shot. It's amazing, right?